is Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome back to our special Butterstash.com five-part series on having dual monitors on your MacBook. In this segment, we're going to look at spaces. You'll recall that in the earlier segment, I had you disable spaces temporarily, and now you'll find out why. So we're going to go into System Preferences, either from the dock or from the Apple menu, then click on Expose and Spaces going to enable spaces. I like having it show in the menu bar as well. Now you see here I have six spaces. But the thing you have to keep in mind now is that each space has two monitors. So I'm going to leave this here where we can see it. I'm going to click on spaces and you'll see that we're now confronted with a huge array of windows to pick from. So this is space one and this is the screen of the Mac. This is space one, and it's the screen of the new monitor. This is space two, Mac, new monitor. Space three, four, five, six. So the thing is, is that you can get a little bit confused when you're moving around I find it helps if initially you have fewer spaces so that it's not quite so difficult to look at. Because here you see you have one, two, three, four. And then the ones on the left side will always be your secondary monitor if that's where your monitor is. It will vary depending on where your new monitor sits. So this is turning spaces back on in a dual monitor. Just takes a little bit of getting used to, and then you can do just fine. Bear in mind that this is a multiple part series, and be sure to listen to all five parts.